For more than 100 years, Ava Bratz is at the Carolina Bee Company, learning all about the fascinating social life of a hive and what it takes to be a beekeeper, right? I'm telling you, it's the bee's knees. We've got all sort of bee puns for you today. Now, bees um, obviously make like a golden honey, so we're going to be talking about the different flavors, the different ways it appears, and Tim Dover, you've got a lot of experience with this. So tell me a little bit more about how you got into the bee biz. Well, it's just been a family tradition for generations in my family. It was just something that was a natural fit for me. I love being outside. I love being in nature. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy being with the bees. Absolutely. The and they love you, too. They're buzzing Absolutely. around all the time, giving you amazing honey. Now, if it's Traveler's Rest or locations in the mountains, how do the location affect the honey? So honey is made from the nectar from trees. So different trees produce different flavors and colors of honey. So location is everything, just like in real estate. You, where you're at determines what type of honey your bees can make. And bees really work together. They're probably the most amazing example of a team effort. How many bees does it take to make, say, like a jar of honey we see at the store? Well, each honey bee makes about a twelfth of a teaspoon in her lifetime. Wow. So it takes a lot of bees. It takes over a million miles of flight time to make one pound of honey. So it's, there's a lot of work that goes into it. It is a big cooperative thing in the beehive. There's no fussing. There's no fighting. <laughs> Everybody has a job, and they do their job, and they do it well. Absolutely. We could learn a few or thing or two from them. And kind of circling over here, not only is honey delicious to eat, but it's super beneficial to our immune system, hair, skin, and nails. Absolutely. And we also produce our own line of cosmetics, lotions, body butters, soaps, lip balms, all using the wax and honey from our hives as well. Amazing. And I've always, I mean, we've all had a lip chap, or a chapstick, I always call it lip chap, chapstick that just didn't end up working for our lips, but you guys have a beeswax that you do here. Yes, we do. All right. We get beeswax from our hives, and it, it turns out a beautiful product. Fantastic, along with some iced tea, some soap suckers. That is amazing. And we're going to transition over here to our honey tasting station. We were talking a little bit about your favorite. Why does this one stand out? Well, my favorite honey is a sourwood honey. It's produced up in the mountains. Our hives that we take up to the mountains are close to the Blue Ridge Parkway at about 34 to 3,600 feet elevation. Yeah. And it's the only thing blooming when it blooms, and the bees make a very premium honey for it. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. And how would you describe the taste? I mean, I tasted it. I feel like it would absolutely rock on a peanut butter sandwich. It would rock on anything. I could just eat it straight out of the jar. <laughs> it has a little bit of a gingery kick to it. It's really good. And the stars of the show are right here. What kind of bees are these? Well, these are Italian cross bees. These are Italian with a little bit of Russian mixed in. Huh? And uh, the bees are not native to North America. They were brought in with settlers from Europe. And the majority of the bees in the United States are Italian or of Italian descent. Uh-huh. And they are buzzing around because the queen is in there, you were telling me, right? She is in there. She's a beautiful queen. And when I put this in this box this morning, they all went up and oh. hid and played hide and seek. So she's probably up in the top here hiding out. But she's in there somewhere. And she's known to run the show. She does run the show. She yeah. is the queen. Mm -hmm. And so how does that dynamic work? So she's just sort of the queen bee, she runs everything. How does she communicate all it's that? It's based on pheromones. Okay. And pheromones run the hive. So as her pheromone level is at the right level, everybody kind of tunes into her and they know that she's the mama, she's the queen, and they have their jobs that they do. There you go, and everybody falls in line making some amazing honey and products as well. Margaret, when we come back, we're going to head down to their supply area where they're going to be showing us the honey, the boxes, where it all goes in, and how you can do it yourself. So much to buzz about, Ava. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Still ahead on Access Carolina. A lot of